for our literacy activity, we are going to be doing I Have Who Has, all right? So you guys should all know how to play I Have Who Has. We play them in math groups and we play them during story lab groups. So you guys should definitely know how to play this and be able to teach this to your family at home so that they can play with you. And I sent home earlier this year, I Have Who Has cutouts in the folder. So you guys might have them from that. They're also in my MSSD pandemic plan folder. There's a tab that says I have who has, and there's all different sorts of I have who has on there that you guys can print out. Or you can just take a piece of uh, white paper and write the alphabet on them and make them yourselves. So you may have them from when I sent them home. You can print them from my pandemic plan folder, or you can make them yourself at home. So those are the way you can access these plans. So I am going to play I Have Who Has and kind of show you guys how to play it. I'm going to play it with my husband, Dave, so you guys can watch how we play it, and then you guys should be able to play at home. And my preschool friends, you guys should be able to teach your family and who is at home with you how to play this game. So I'm counting on you to be able to teach them as well, but I'm going to show you how to play it. Me and Dave are going to play it. All right, so stay tuned to watch us play it. All right, so I have my stack of cards. and I'm going to be the dealer. This is lowercase alphabet A through M. So one person can be the dealer and I'm going to deal them out. Now, when you are dealing, you want to make sure the ABC on the bottom is facing up so you can see the ABC. So every card, this should be facing up so everyone, you should be able to see the ABC. So I'm going to deal. So I'm going to give one to Dave and one to me. One to Dave and one to me. One to Dave, one to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay, so I dealt the cards and now I have my stack and Dave has his stack. I'm going to move yours a little closer. All right, and then you pick someone to go first. I'm going to go first because I have one more card than you. Um, you can pick any card you want. And just as you see, all of the cards have the ABC in the right corner. Those all need to say have the ABC in the right corner facing up. Otherwise, you, the game will get um, out of whack. So they all have to be facing up. So I'm gonna start, I'm just gonna grab any random card. All right, so I have F, who has H. I have H, who has K. I have K, who has L. I have L, who has J. I have J, who has M. I have M, who has A. I have A, who has D. I have D, who has C. I have C, who has E. Oh, I e. also have E, who has G. I have G, who has B. I have B, who has I. I have I, who has Okay, so I was the last person and all of our cards are in the middle. So now what we do in class is the last person gets to check the cards. So you're going to want to take the pile like this and you're going to want to check if the card underneath is the same as the card on top. So if the card underneath says F like this card, then we did it right. So let's check and make sure we did it right. Ooh, we got it. Both cards are F, so we got it right. Way to go. Great job. Okay, so that is how you're going to play I Have Who Has. Remember, you have the ABC in the corner. You pick that one first, I Have F, and then you flip it over, Who Has H. So it's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. Um, and I hope you guys have so much fun playing this game. And I will see you next time for another video. Bye, friends. Have fun. Stay safe.